Hi, I'm Clayton Patterson with Fruno Technical Support, and today we're talking about the GP1871 and 1971F combination units. Now, one of the most common questions we get is, how do I create a boundary area, or polyline as they're referred to on these plotters? It's really quite simple, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, to create a polyline, all we have to do is touch on the screen, and it's gonna give us a couple options here. So we're gonna go down to New Polyline, and there is our starting point. So wherever we touch from now on, that's gonna be a, por a portion of this polyline. So I'm gonna to touch here, 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 and then we'll end it. So there's our completed polyline area. Now I'm gonna save it. It's gonna give us the option to give it a name. So we're just gonna give it a simple name here, just so we can keep tabs on it. And now it's saved. So now I can touch on this polyline. I can either insert a new point, edit the color, We'll change it to red, a little easier to see. And I can, it's like say for example, I wanna come down here and I wanna edit, insert a point. Now I've added an extra point and I can move it wherever I want. And then we'll save it. I can also come down here and I can delete this line or I can extend it. We can also do the same thing if we go to home, lists, polylines. Now here's our polyline, gives us all the information about it, how many points there are. We can change the name, we can edit the comment, do all the general information, change color and delete it. We can also access detail. We go to detail, this gives us a list of all the different vertexes, basically the segments of the polyline, which we can edit and or delete individually. So if I pick one and say delete, now it's removed that segment from the polyline. You can see it's missing here. Now, if I want to touch on it and delete the rest of it, and now it's all gone. 